Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, sorry about yesterday. I had a horrible day, like horrible day. And I just couldn't be, I couldn't do anything when I got home. I just was so exhausted. Um, I think I told you guys I'm filling in for one of the other newspaper locations, legal team. And it was unpleasant yesterday. Like it was not, I, I, I was like telling my boss, hire whoever, I don't even care. You should just hire someone because I'm ready to quit. <laughs> and then I got home and mentally it had exhausted me, which physically exhausted me. And I just went, well, the heck with it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be doing that no more. I'm not gonna be, I'm just, I can't do anything tonight. So I am out. I'm gonna go to a thrift store in town because I, I think part of the problem is I need to leave the office and I get myself a lunch here at Taco John's. Taco John's too. Spoiling myself after yesterday. But um, I do think part of the problem is I haven't been leaving the office and I just need that break, you know, just. <sighs> so I'm going to Cool Junk, which is a thrift store here in Cambridge. So let me get my lunch and then I'll go to Cool Junk. Anyway, I just learned that they're opening a second location, Cool Junk is, which means, hey, they're flourishing, right? So I wanted to get over to the original location uh, because I probably, after this, will only go to the second location because it's closer to Shalom, which you know is like my favorite thrift store in Cambridge. So if I could hit Shalom and Cool Junk in the same day, <laughs> Yeah, the original location is probably going to get left behind. Plus, the original location only has on-street parking. And the new location will have a parking lot. So, but let's get to Cool Junk and see what they have for me. Um, hopefully, they have something. Well, I found some stuff. It's not what I normally buy. I got my weird glasses on. I hate these glasses. It's not what I normally buy. But... Cool junk never disappoints. I got some cool junk. Um, I will go home and I will show you. I will do a thrift haul. Okay, I'm home. I got my good glasses on and I am. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. The dog uh, started barking at 2 a.m. Then I had a tick on me. So then I got the creepy crawlies. Then I started thinking about my stressful day. And I had like no sleep last night. But anyway, let's see what I got. Okay, so the first thing, well, this was the last thing I actually picked up. It should have been the first thing I saw, but I'm tired. And I'm not seeing things like I'm supposed to be seeing. Anyway, hands are itchy too. It's like full on pollen season, so my eyes are burning, my hands are itchy. I'm like, oh. y'all. He's so cute. He's four dollars. He's a little planter. Oh, you know, he took the sticker off him. He was four dollars. So there's a lot of their stuff is like overpriced, and then they have these adorable things that they've underpriced. And I'm like, <laughs> we're giving you a lot more than four dollars for the duck. But I'm excited about the duck. I like the duck. And then the last thing, see, I'm like itching. Sorry, I'm gonna be itchy. Till spring's over. I gotta start taking my meds tonight. Anyway, what's a bunch of advertising? So, if you remember, like a few weeks back, I picked up a piece of art that didn't have a frame, and I said, I have a garage full of frames. I have something for them now. Uh, okay, so these were all taken out of different magazines from the 1930s and 40s. So this one was from McCall's Magazine. You can see it's a fashion one. And I tried to get a couple pieces that were themed. So let me see if I can find, let me put together my theme here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, so 
not gonna work. <laughs> okay, I got a couple fashion themes. So these two here that I did pull out, you can see. It's the 1930s McCall's Magazine. No, it's 1925. Both of them are from 1925. So a couple advertisement for women's clothing from McCall's. Very cute. Um, vintage advertising pieces, once they're framed, do really well. So like these I paid a dollar a piece for. Some of them were $2.00. Anything that said $3 on the advertising pieces, he said was $2 as well. So I didn't pay over $2 for any of this. Here's an Ember Ready one that's Christmas themed. And I don't think you guys can see it very well. But it's Santa Claus with a flashlight. Checking on the kids. There we go. If I hold it that way, you can see it. So it's a vintage Ever Ready piece. And then I had a few radio ones. So um, I know there's a lot of music collectors in our area. So this one wasn't the best. Um, it is, I, I don't know this one, Majestic's Color Tone Radio. But there's a Majestic and then an RCA advertisement. And then Victor the dog. Here's a Victrola, Victor Victrola. And then I got a Goodyear Pathfinder tire from 1930. Then I had a few pieces of advertising from the Saturday Evening Post, which had the Norman Rockwell pieces in them. So this one said, um, it checks sore throats quickly. I think this is a Listerine ad. Yeah, Listerine. And it says, the same advice I gave your dad, Listerine often. And it's Norman Rockwell um, image from the Saturday Evening Post from 1929. And then I thought this was interesting because they had a few of these. I may go back for some. They were like cutouts that kids could play with. So these are almost like paper dolls. But not dolls, they're animals, <laughs> but they had a couple other ones that were circus related ones that you could put together and then slide the tab and the arms would do stuff. And I don't think I bought those. And I'm pretty sure I didn't buy those, but I was thinking about it, but I was running out of money because I bought a lot. But this one, um, I liked the graphics of these birds. And it says the musical triumph of Thaddeus Toad from Ladies Home Journal, 1921. This one, I liked the images too. It reminded me of trolls actually, but um, this is from 1925, the gimmicks. The gayest folk you'll ever know who live in roofs and chimney. <laughs> of course, Coca-Cola advertising does well. So at the fountain at home, this one was $2 from Saturday evening post. And I can't see the date on that one. I'd have to check the page on the back. But it's a Saturday Evening Post Coca-Cola one. Um, and then you got like a couple different buckets that we're checking here. And it's military and Coca-Cola. And it looks like it's probably from the 40s. 42. 1942. So 1942. And then we always have a car show during Carl Oscar days. It's like right across the street. I'd like to get this one framed for that one. It's a Corvair, 1962 Corvair. And there'll be some Corvair collector out there who's like, oh, they have a framed Corvair one. And then here's the other um, Norman Rockwell Saturday Evening Post, and it was for sun-made raisins. So it says, the more raisins, the better the better the pudding sun made raisin growers and it's a norman rockwell image with the sun made advertising and that's what i got today guys i know it's not like a huge haul or very exciting at all but um once i get them framed i think they'll be cute and i did sell all those norman rockwells last time so all four of the pieces one was an older one that I had in there for a while. And then the three brand new Norman Rockwells that I got, they're all gone. So I know I need wall art and uh, 
at the price that these were with the frames that I already have. Hopefully I can find some that are the right size and I can just plunk them in. <laughs> because I need some wall art, you guys. Just a little bit. I I have to go through my inventory out there and see what pieces I want to get rid of because there's some all, uh, 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 I can't even talk. Some art pieces that I don't want to put in anymore. Like I've put them in there so many times they don't sell. I've dropped the price on them. Now it's time to get rid of them. So I think I'm going to have to go through and donate them back to the thrift stores and look for new pieces. Like these will be new pieces. And I'm exhausted and I'm going to go to bed. But thanks for watching you guys. Happy junkin'. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.